Hello my lovelies, welcome back again to Dubs' Delight. As part of our Christmas recipes, today we are making this amazing goat meat jollof rice. This video is set to show you a detailed recipe of how to get the perfect and most delicious jollof rice. So stay tuned and let's do this together. So for our king of ingredients, you need some goat meat. I was lucky enough to get goat meat with skin on it which adds even much more flavor to your jollof rice i'll wash this thoroughly and transfer this to my pot to this i'll add some white pepper powder of course some black pepper powder which i love to season my meats with i'll then add my all famous vegetable seasoning one shrimp seasoning which is totally optional and of course you can use any seasoning at all of your choice for this i'll add some bay leaves some salt to taste and to add premium and extra flavor i've got some ginger here half green bell pepper which is the secret to get the most delicious tasting meat <laughs> i've also got some onions and garlic i'll blend this together divide it into half and season my meat with half and i'll show you what i'll use the rest later i'll add enough water as we need a lot of stock from the meat to cook our rice once it comes to a boil i will stir everything to combine beautifully and this smells absolutely nice it smells so so good you can all attest to how beautiful the smell or the scent of our goat meat is especially the one with skin <laughs> After boiling for about 30 to 40 minutes, our meat is ready, so I'll take it out and set the stock aside for later. The secret to get the best tasting goat meat jollof is in the stock, okay? Don't tell anyone. But please do not throw it away at all costs. And just look at that meat. It took me a lot of self-control not to consume it before I use it for the recipe. For my tomato base, I've got my pointed peppers which I love so much. I've also got some yellow and green bell pepper, two habanero pepper and some carrots. Trust me, carrots add a lot of flavor to your jollof so at all costs, try and add it to your jollof base and you will thank me later. I will blend everything together with some peeled plum tomato, yes this is the brand I love and once blended i will add it to my pot and get it ready to boil the aim of this is to cut the cooking time into half as the water will be absorbed once you boil this and once you add it to your tomato base you do not have to cook it for too long and it will be ready just look at that it has reduced in size and this is exactly what we are looking for now to start my stew base i will add enough oil i'm using sunflower oil here i will add it to my pot and once it's heated up beautifully i will then add my goat meat to it which i am going to fry until golden brown you want it to be caramelized beautifully yes that's my baby this is what we do now <laughs> he said hi <laughs> that was just by the way you want it to caramelize beautifully and take it out and set it aside for later and this is exactly how you want it to look before you take it out of the oil okay if you're still watching this thank you please be kind to subscribe i'll use the same oil to start our stew base and i blended two extra large onions to the already halved ginger garlic and onion paste once i fry this for about five minutes on medium low heat i'll add some chopped onions if you do not like a lot of onions you can omit it but it adds so much flavor okay i'll then season right at the beginning with some vegetable seasoning some nutmeg and some rosemary stir this to combine beautifully the secret to getting the best tasting stews is always to season it in stages and it begins right from the time you begin the stew so this has been frying for a total of 10 to 12 minutes 
You do not want to fry for too long as you want to leave some juices from the onions and ginger and all the goodness <laughs> to fry your tomato puree which I've just added. This adds the red popping color you need for your jollof, okay? Make sure that as soon as you add your puree, you fry this on medium low heat okay or else it will burn you want to fry this until it is flaky like so don't fry it for too long or else it will darken in color and that will cause your jollof to look dark so now it's ready for us to add our tomato base which we have already cooked and as soon as you add it it is time for seasoning so for seasoning i'll be adding some coriander powder my vegetable seasoning some curry powder which adds so much flavor to your jollof some ground white pepper which is totally optional you also need some bay leaves which adds so much flavor and that is it that's all i'm going to use not too many seasonings as we want it to taste as natural as possible i'll stir this to combine and fry this on medium low heat and once it has come together like so and is cooked for an extra 10 minutes your stew base at this point is ready very simple isn't it you then have to set some aside if your stew is too much and at this point mine was too much so i'll set some aside for the next time i make jollof i'll put this in the freezer for next time it is now ready to add my washed rice which i'm going to add to my stew base and give it a little toast before adding my stock toasting your rice will help it to be a bit stretchy and gummy which we want we don't want our jollof rice to be too hard so toast it for about five to ten minutes on medium high heat and the next step will follow as I mentioned, this video is to give you how to get the best tasting jollof, a detailed tutorial I am doing with you here. So please follow attentively, you are in class today, okay? <laughs> Toasting is done and I'm going to add my stock from the meat. I'm going to add only half and I'll use half later. Make sure to add it while it is still hot so by the time you're going to add your stock if your stock is cold please heat it up before you add it you'll stir this on medium low heat and to get the best rice you want your water or your rice to be wavy at this point so it's not wavy yet I'm going to add enough water which is hot water here I never cook my rice with cold water so I'll add enough water and you can see that it's wavy and nice now you can cook this and you would not need any more water as you added enough from the beginning and the secret to this is that it is wavy okay I covered it and allowed it to cook for about five minutes on medium low heat I will stir it to make sure that it does not burn okay and cover it and allow it to cook for an extra 10 minutes on medium low heat to low heat but before then cover your rice with some foil to trap the steam to cook your rice beautifully so the total number of times you're going to stir this once we add our water is about three after every five to ten minutes okay this is the second time we are stirring it at this point i'm cooking it on medium low heat to low heat and once i have covered it it will be time for me to add the next ingredient so stay tuned So this is the third time stirring and the next ingredient will be our goat's meat. Yes, as this is goat's meat jollof. <laughs> Just look at that. So beautiful, so inviting. You need a lot of self-control not to consume your meat. And this is the third time stirring. Be sure to stir it gently so you do not break your rice in the process. Okay? Once you have stirred everything beautifully, gently and carefully, cover it back with the foil and the lid and turn your heat down to low heat once it is on low heat you do not have to come back and stir it the steam will be trapped to cook it until the end voila our jollof rice is ready just look at that the grains the color check 
the taste check 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 <laughs> everything was simply on point the smell uh, just name it everything was simply on point super delicious very stretchy and yet the grains look beautiful yes i pair this with my christmas salad if you haven't seen the recipe please click on the link now which will take you to how i made this amazing salad just look at that very beautiful if you're still here thank you so much for being here please do not forget to like comment share subscribe to this channel so that whenever i post a video you will be instantly notified until i see you in my next one i love you all but god loves you most bye for now